Hey, do you think homeless people ever have sex with each other? Probably, but I don't want to think about it. I know for a fact they do. I spend most of my day breaking up in-progress homeless sex. I bet it stank. Oh, it stink, all right. So, we talking group stuff or just one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, anything goes. Whatever you can fit under a tarp. There's a major hot spot behind the dumpster at the Cheesecake Factory. Hey, what's up with the menus at the Cheesecake Factory? Why do they gotta be so big? Yeah, and why does their menu have ads? I go there for dinner, not to shop for appliances. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made-before observations, this could be a podcast. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. Oh, we haven't done anything as a group since we went bird watching. Guys, look. It's the yellow-headed puffin face. Ooh. It's a solitary creature. Its feathered crown is designed to scare away mates. It's known to swell its face to assert dominance when threatened. What does it eat, Peter? Gin and whatever's in the bowl at the airport bar. I said, damn, what a wild couple of days. Anyways, what's up with you guys? Sorry, amigo, not interested. <laughs> this is what happens when you lick your spilled latte off the steering wheel. She did that, she's gross. Lois, you okay? Ugh, yeah, it's just my allergies. They've been awful. I can't figure out what it is. I... Maybe it's Brian. He practically sleeps on top of you. You could be allergic to him. Hey, here's an idea, Chris. Why don't you mind your own business? You know, I did read that people can develop allergies to their pets. I mean, Brian, maybe you shouldn't sleep in our bedroom for a little while. What? Well, then where am I supposed to sleep? How about in your own apartment, like a grown-up? Do you have a problem with me, Chris? Why don't you sleep in Stewie's room? There's plenty of space. Roomies? Dude, this'll be so ill. Who are you? I'll tell you who. Your new roommate. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go take a shower so I can blow my nose into my hands. <clears throat> Damn it! I hate this house. Morning, honey. Go to hell. All right, you guys, podcast time. We got the equipment and the perfect business plan. Give our show away for free and tell no one how to find it. Ready? Hey there, the net. Welcome to the first episode of Thanks for the Clamories. I'm here with Glenn Quagmire. Hi. Cleveland Brown. And... Hello. And Joe Swanson. Yelza. All right, Quagmire, what do you got for us? Let's make a clamory. Okay, this is yes or no. Y you ready, Peter? Yes or no? French toast. Yes. French fries. Yes. French kissing. I, I don't know. These questions are weird. Okay, okay, someone else. Cleveland, yes or no? Velcro shoes. Hmm, Velcro shoes. Ooh, wee, that's a tough one. I remember the first time I saw me a pair of crows, they were on the feet of Spunky Tessic. Man, they was dandies. Every time we played touch football, Spunky would step in a pile of dog poo. You can wash a shoe, but you can't really wash a lace. That's why Spunky made the change. That's the thing about Velcro shoes. Quiet going on, noisy coming off. That rip! Monkey's mama thought he was an intruder. Shot him right in the face. Had an open casket at the funeral, but only open on the middle part. To this day, every time I see a pile of dog do, I take a step in it just for Spunky. So to answer the question, I'm gonna have to say both yes and no. <sighs> all right, that's all the time we got. I'd like to thank our sponsor, the U.S. Postal Service. When you want something expensive thrown on your porch and stolen, you want the U.S. Postal Service. What the hell was that? I know, Cleveland, you ruined the whole podcast. Yeah, if I wanted to hear a black guy ramble like a lunatic, I'd watch Family Feud. Yeah, I mean, that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. Anyway, my brother Louis, he's, uh, he's a little off to the side, you know? Uh, foofy. Uh, up to the knuckle. He's, uh, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? Oh, mama! What on, Peter? <laughs> mama, Louis's not gay. He's, he's creative. <laughs> Hey, Stewie, thanks for letting me stay in your room. Oh, Brian, please. It's our room now. Hey, what are we gonna do tonight? Oh, maybe we should watch that movie about Freud where Michael Fassbender repeatedly spanks Kira Knightley to orgasm. You saw that movie? I saw that scene. 
So I was thinking this could be your area. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is great. And fair warning, some of the books are pop-up, so don't be alarmed. Ah, son of a bitch! Frickin' bird came out of nowhere. You know, I have a good feeling about this, Brian. After all, you certainly can't be any worse than the last roommate I had.